I want to cut a, a flat slab out. Uh -huh. It'll be about 10 inches wide. It'll leave enough for a tabletop with different elevations and a connecting area that'll move down to connect to that base, that root section base that I have down there. So it's going so, to be a tabletop. So it'll be a tabletop. And I use a level to get two plumb lines where I've determined I can get the best amount of wood out of this. I'm thinking 10 inches wide. There. How long has this wood been seasoning here? Uh, it's been here for two years. I got this two years ago. And it kind of needs to be used up now. So see, I'll draw two, I'll draw plumb lines on each side, and then I'll uh, be able to cut out a uh, two flat plane. Or you get, or you just waste a lot of wood if you if you don't get a flat plane. So there's some rotten wood there, but you're not worried about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that'll work out. And the and there's a four inch area here that should be very healthy, and then. After that, this will be the connector areas to that root section that's a base, going to be the base down there. Like butter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it it's, uh, looks good, and there's nice coloration change in here. So that's what I was hoping for. It's healthy and has a good coloration change. And it's got a heart crack coming through this way, but I cut this way because uh -huh. that was where the best amount of wood was. Uh -huh. But this heart, see, works down over here to down in the bottom area here somewhere. So it'll it's working out of the piece of wood. Uh -huh because I don't want that heart crack in, in the actual top itself. So that pretty much will just work out. So it's working down. It's working the down depth of towards it. the bottom area mm -hmm. that'll be removed. Mm -hmm. And the heart crack, you want to take the heart out because it really puts a lot of tension on the piece of wood and it'll crack there. Mm -hmm. So now I'll take it down and set it on top of the base down there. Nice big chunk. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a big chunk. It probably weighs over 500 pounds. So what's going to happen here, eventually, is this area will be carved out. And there'll be some areas that come down that'll be connectors into this. And this is your base, that's beautiful. Yeah. And that's a root section. Mm. And so, it means since it's a root section, the shapes here are the way the grain fibers go. That's a beautiful shape too. Happy with the size of it? Yeah, yeah, size-wise everything's going to work out fine. So it's going to be a very thick table or? No, so actually uh, the table is only going to be like this thick and it'll ah. be maybe three different levels. How beautiful. But this additional amount here, what it's for is to be able to carve a few areas down that overlap on the inside probably of this form so that I can join them. How old do you think this piece of wood is? How old do you think the tree was before it died? A tree that was probably a couple hundred years old. The uh, grain is, or the ring marks are less than a sixteenth of an inch apart, so it's really tight grain and very hard. Mm. Uh, but it's quite uniform because it comes from the trunk of the tree. Mm. So what will make this piece of wood more interesting is this discoloration that comes in. It's Why is it discolored, do you think? Uh, there's a, a fungus that starts growing in the wood. Oh. Uh, but if you can catch it before it deteriorates, it just discolors it and it's still healthy. Mm. So this will make quite an interesting pattern on the top of the table. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm just finishing carving the shape now. I'm going to uh, remove this area of wood to make it give it a little more flow and shape because this would be too bulky and heavy of a shape. Mm. Side too. Mm, it's lovely. Thinking I might take it in a little more on this side. And good line and, and uh, get it so it's not so heavy, but also I want movement on this shape too. Mm -hmm. So I want the whole thing to move. So that's my objective. Yeah, see that moves better now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can, it's more cohesive. Yeah. Now. So we'll set it down and put the top on it. Take a look at that. Great. Sweet. Okay. Mm. So the next thing I'll be doing, see I left these areas under here those will get carved into this so that it looks like it it belongs that way but i so that'll those will get carved way down but those will be the join areas feeling happy with it oh yeah yeah i'm happy with the the, the base is really going to bring that the, this piece alive yeah especially once see i carve these these blocky things i carve them so they fit this shape yeah. so it moves into it oh yeah then the whole thing will be alive i'm able to have it such light areas and uh and have these shapes going in so many different directions out of the same piece of wood because it was a root section. Mm -hmm. And so the grain is growing, going the direction these shapes are. Mm -hmm. And so normally with a piece of wood like this, with all the grain going one direction, as soon as you get right here, you've got a big weak area because mm -hmm. the grain is short fibered through here. But mm -hmm. here, the grain's growing down through there because it was a root. Mm -hmm. And so it's very strong and I can make the shapes I want. It's looking a lot different a day later. I've prepared the piece now to do the last bit of fitting the uh, top to the base that I carved. And so I've already carved this one in to, uh, to fit, fit the design. And I'll, after it's dry, I'll uh, do the complete uh, finishing here so that it really matches and gets screwed and glued together. This piece, this over here I've left, and we'll do this now. I'm holding it together with clamps. So, I'll go ahead and flip it over and get it started. My main concern with this is, is getting the, the join to look like it's uh, part of the design of the table. Mm -hmm. So that's, what, that's why I left this large area here.
Nice. Yeah. Ready for the kiln? Yeah, now it's ready for the kiln. Will, it, will you dry it pinned together or will it be drying in two parts? Yeah, it'll just be drying in two parts. <laughs> I still, I'll have a lot of work to do to get those joints really uh, flat planes and parallel with each other yes. before I glue and uh, bolt or screw it together. <laughs>